They're about to go into retirement, but not without making a bit of noise about it. I bid farewell to the Thumpers. It's not glamorous, it's not pretty, but the locals here, they love it. It's been around about 35 years longer than you'd have expected. And it's not the look of it that makes people excited, it's the sound. The Marshlink line runs from Ashford to Hastings and I was joined on the 924 by Chris Dan, who rather likes these noisy beasts and is trying to make sure that they don't become extinct. Chris, this is the main attraction, but what is it we're on? We are on, actually, a Class 207 diesel-electric multiple unit built by the southern region at Eastleigh Works in 1962. It's got another name, hasn't it? Thumpers, yes. I think that's the name that, uh, the nickname that everybody associates with these trains. And why is it called a thumper? It's because of the particular unique sound of the English electric engine which is driving this train at the front in the leading coach, which has this sort of doo -doo 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 noise. Then it echoes across the countryside. And many people, it's very evocative. They've certainly been around longer than the first anticipated, haven't they? Yes, they were originally built in 1957. And as you can see, we're now in 2004, so it's well over 40 years. But the end's near, though, isn't it, Chris, for these? Yes, it is. This is the last route where it is all thumpers. The only other route where they do still run, but rush hours only, is on the upfield to Oxted and when they go through to London Bridge. And it'll be a sad day when the last one pulls into the station? It will, because it will be the end of an era. There's no question about that. Now, obviously, the line remains. What takes the Thumper's place? Uh, what will take the Thumper's place is the Class 170s turbo star diesel units, which, of course, are high-tech and belong to the 21st century. Now, you and your society's allegiance obviously belongs to the Thumpers. Yes. What's your society doing about it? Well, the society is called the Hampshire and Sussex Units Preservation Society. It's an awful mouthful, but for short, it's called Hussups. And we, our aim is to preserve at least one example of one of these units, a class 205 or 207. And what are the plans? How far advanced are you on the project? We have acquired a unit. It is in the stage of various stages of restoration. Chris took me along to the Selhurst train care depot where the Hassop centre car unit is being carefully restored. So, Chris, this is it, the centre car unit. What Indeed. have you had done to it? Well, what we've had done to it, as you can see, is it's had a brand new roof. All the windows have been cleaned. The body has been filled in where there was a lot of rust and rot. Uh, the doors have been repaired and rehung. Uh, all the running boards, as you can see, have been done, plus the sole bar here has been cleaned and all the essential pipe work and stuff has been highlighted. Nice colour as well. Yes, this is the colour, in fact, as near as possible, that the unit would have had when it was built in 1962 when it first came into service. So, have the members of the society been able to help out in the restoration of this? Unfortunately not, Steve. Because of the condition that this coach was in when we first bought it, it was beyond our abilities to be able to do anything to it. So we had to seek professional help, and we did this through Keith Osman here, through South Central's train care depot at Selhurst. Keith sounds like a man I need to go and see, you he know. He is indeed. So, Keith, tell us about the engine then. Right, it's an English electric uh, 4SRKT. It's a four-cylinder inline machine. It generates normally 600 horsepower, and it drives the main generator, which puts out 750 volts to the traction motor. But above all, it's the noise. It certainly is. It's uh, unique. If you want me to start it up, we yeah, can give it a Yeah, love Excellent. Okay. So all good things must come to an end. And for the thumpers, the end is near. But as we've seen through restoration and preservation, you haven't seen or heard the last of them yet. <laughs>